What do we have here? Finally put together the uh, Line TB70. Like I said, I'm going to transfer everything from my 700L, which I unfortunately crashed. Uh, it happens. Anyways, it was an old helicopter, and honestly, it was just a beater, and I really was looking forward to crashing that one because I wanted to fly a newer one anyways. Everything's on the 700X for now. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just going to go with the TB70. I think 700X is nice also, but I just don't want to keep buying parts for the these older uh, Align helicopters. Not that the uh, there's anything wrong with them, but, you know, if I do fly any of the torque tube helis, it's going to be my 700X now. <laughs> It's looking pretty good. Got a flight out a line motor, torque servos, all that stuff you've seen on previous videos. Um, I put the Align TB70 main blades on this and the tails. Uh, these main blades are pretty much similar to what comes with the 700X, anyways. And I put the, the TB70 main uh, tail blades do look nicer and are different. And I'm going to put these on the 700X as well. Because I'm running some rails on the uh, TB70. I like rails. I like the way they sound and feel. They're floatier. I feel like they're more efficient. They create more lift. And here's the kit itself. This motor is so much bigger than the one on the uh, 700X. But I might just put the 700X motor on the TB70 although I believe um, the reason they went with the bigger motors because it has a uh, bigger bearings and it is uh, preloaded with the uh, tension from the belt uh, because it is a uh, belt driven anyways there are the two uh, lines and I'm doing some work some custom work to my canopy, it arrived in yellow. I don't really like the colors that they chose or went with. Their color schemes are pretty funky uh, in all their models. I mean, some are okay, but I think this is gonna be better the way I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna choose gray, red, and black. <clears throat> I've already removed the orange uh, to gray. And uh, you can see there, uh, just the color scheme matches so much better, looks so much cleaner, you know, sportier. The yellow and the gray and the black and the blue actually match. They had a mix of uh, orange in between, you know, um, beneath the uh, gray that I uh, sprayed over. And just carefully I'm masking it and with the translucent um, fairly translucent uh, paper masking tape I am I'm outlining the letters cutting that out that way when I paint I don't lose my logos and then when I'm completely done I'm gonna mask the letters again and paint them black except for these front line uh, letters those will stay chrome I mean, if they had the stickers or decals to put over them, I would. But honestly, you end up crashing these things and there's really no, no it's too much work to put into something when it's going to come down eventually one day. Hopefully not. But yeah, I mean, this kit's fucking nice. It's pretty much the same thing that you see in the 700X. Most of it's the same. The main head looks the same. Uh, design changed just a bit like the main blade grips are a little shorter in length the the uh, actual head block has changed just a actually the whole thing changed if you pay attention to the dimensions uh, this one looks shorter these grips are shorter um, the uh, the arms are, are, are also shorter so I guess it's a whole new 
redesign even with the uh, main head and everything else on the tail the swash blade looks to be the same completely the same just blacked out at the bottom could be wrong maybe there could be a change maybe in bearings not sure but it looks compatible so there you have it here's a comparison of the two um, torque tube in the rear you got your uh, align pitch slider there uh, they do that uh, they have the same thing going on with the TB70 uh, like I said everything just gonna is going to be uh, blacked out on this model there it is same thing very easy build I didn't even use an instruction manual it was just so easy to build everything was already in place all the uh, components had their screws in all you had to do is back them out and put them in where they had to go uh, yeah I mean another thing you have to you have this little cool little belt tension uh, mechanism in the rear a little funky but it looks it's cool it works I don't really care for the orange though and I kind of would have preferred an aluminum tail boom um, but then again, I wouldn't because aluminum takes a new shape when you hit it, causing dents. It's malleable. Carbon fiber, not so much. So you can bang this all day. Maybe have a rough landing and your, I don't know, your main blade might fold in and slightly contact the tail or whatever. And you won't see any bends or dents. Maybe a scuff. That's about it. And I doubt you'd crack it. Maybe if you hit it hard or crash hard, you'll you'll probably uh, snap that boom for sure. Anyways, in a crash, you replace the boom anyways. But I believe that my... I'm not sure if that's going to increase the price in parts for the tail boom. Um, but regardless, I think the boom's like 30 bucks. It's not too bad. You got the Tron in the back. One beefy machine.